Mr. Shikowsky, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing good. Hi, Liz. Wow, you look good. Thanks. Can you believe it's 20 years? No. Hopefully everybody looks as good as the three of us, but... <laughs> High School Reunion is the hardest show in the world to cast. I mean, because it's not just grabbing a bunch of strangers and putting them into a situation and letting the cameras roll. You have to find a school that you like. You need to start talking to a few people. They need to tell you some stories about some of their friends and some of their relationships. And then you basically have to start spider webbing out to try to form a cast. And it's very difficult because if one key member of that high school class doesn't want to participate, the whole school goes away. So it's, it can be very uh, heartbreaking when you're casting High School Reunion, but ultimately when you find a school, it's, 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 it's very rewarding. Right from the beginning, we knew we wanted like the jock and the popular girl and the nerdy guy and you know, we, you know, all the, the bully, all the things that you sort of remember from high school as archetypes. And you know, we've been very successful. I think this cast that we're, we're, that we're featuring this week is outstanding and, the, and there's some great storylines and there's some great secrets revealed and it's just, it's a very dramatic series. Even though Tom and I have been divorced for eight years, it's a little awkward to see him going out with someone else. Thank you. Interesting. We start with probably 200 high schools as potential candidates, and then as people fall out or fall in, you know, we narrow the field, and ultimately we get down to like three or five schools, and then we present the network with probably two or three and see what they like. I'm not surprised at what people will do to get on television, at least not anymore. You know, when I started doing this kind of show, you know, 10 or 12 years ago, it was really hard to talk anybody into doing any show. I mean, they were like, what, what is this? My life is gonna be invaded by cameras and blah, blah, blah. But now they just, they're just lining up. I mean, it's a big country and it's, the stigma of being on a reality show is long gone. And now it's, it's really one of the things that people in America strive to achieve is to have been on a reality show. And it's, I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I'm grateful.